all students, regardless of race, color, or creed, should have the opportunity to succeed. That's the aim of the Bruce Randolph School in Denver, helped along by this week's seven everyday hero. America, we have the freedom, we have the opportunities, we have more chances. Sometimes just a little encouragement can help you succeed. We're helping young kids, most of them are 13, eighth graders. Martin Pox is a mentor at Denver's Bruce Randolph School. I'm a headhunter. Uh, by the day and uh, mentor at uh, on Thursday afternoon. Martin gives his time to the goodwill of Denver's youth development program. The whole point of our youth programs is to get these kids on the right track, let them know that there's several different options out there. They just explore life opportunities, explore career opportunities, and just figure out how to make better lives for themselves. They talk a lot of, about tough topics and personal things that maybe these kids don't feel comfortable talking to their parents about or their teachers about, but Martin's able to create that safe space for them. Mentoring is not always easy, but often rewarding. It's totally afraid. It's the hardest that I've probably worked ever done in my entire life. And Martin has done a lot of volunteering. He feels strongly about it because he knows the power of helping others. My parents were immigrants and um, People help them. And now Martin is making a difference. He brings leadership, he br brings positivity, he brings presence every single week. And that's what being a mentor is all about, being present, supportive, building confidence. Our students love being around him. Martin has helped me by, like, by changing my attitude because before I met Martin in this program, like I would always have arguments with people. He's helped me think about what I want to do with my future. The day we visited, the group recognized Martin for his hard work. It's all about you guys, man. Yeah. And then it was our turn for a surprise. We came today for a surprise for Martin <laughs> because Denver 7 and American Financing are here to honor you as a seven everyday hero for all your volunteering, all your help at helping out these, these young men over the years. So thank you for right, what you thanks. do. Guys, what thanks. do you think? How about a round of applause for Martin? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. To nominate a hero in your life, go to the DenverChannel.com, click on the community section, and you'll, there you'll see the seven everyday heroes. All right, time now is 448, taking a live look outside. We're starting off a little bit wet out there, but it's kind of nice to finally see some moisture here in Colorado, Lisa. I felt a little safer. I drove what my husband's giggling about over there. Moisture. <laughs> moisture. It's my favorite word. It's my favorite. fun of how I talk. <laughs> I, just a warning to everybody here at work, I drove my husband's truck in today. Oh, no. She yeah. picked me up. It was like the she The last was... time this happened, how many cars did you yeah. take out? Just one. It it's like a, a big truck. But, but I felt safer on the road is what I'm trying to say. Oh. I did, yeah. I sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's a little wet out there. Do be careful driving in. We're going to see some fog and some mist early on. Uh, quite a bit of cloud cover right now, but that's going to start to clear up. 50s early on, 70s again this afternoon, and we've got a chance for a few more thunderstorms. Uh, we'll see 70s, it looks like, almost all week long. Friday, it's going to get a little bit hotter. I'll show you that coming up, uh, but more storms expected, and that's going to happen pretty much every afternoon. As it gets warmer by the end of the week, that's going to uh, continue through the weekend. So we've got a pretty nice trend for the weekend. Right now, though, there's downtown. You can just barely make it out right now with some of the lower line cloud cover. Uh, temperatures right now in the 50s, so it's kind of a cool and soggy start. Fort Collinger at 55, Greeley right now 56, and in the springs it's 58. So it's a mild start, a little cooler than where we were at the same time yesterday. Now, when you look at the risk for severe weather today, we've got this little area here in green under a marginal risk. So it is going to include spots like Castle Rock, north up to Fort Collins. We'll get thunderstorms developing by mid-afternoon. You'll see that timing-wise this morning. Skies clearing out after some of the light drizzle and rain that we had this morning. We'll get more of a clear sky. Mix of sun and clouds by about 9 o'clock, and we should be in the low 60s by that point. So still pretty nice through early morning. We'll tack on another 10 degrees by noon. So Denver's at about 71 by 12. Fort Collins, you're in the upper 60s. And in Aurora, 72 by lunch. Then right around 2 to 4 o'clock is when we'll see a few thunderstorms develop. And I think most of the activity that we'll see will be north of Denver. As you get closer to Longmont, Fort Collins, and Greeley, we've got a better shot at a few of those storms turning pretty strong through early evening. That's right around 730. And then lasting through, it looks like, 9 to about 10 o'clock. Early tomorrow morning, likely 
likely we're going to see more patchy fog. We'll be under a partly to mostly cloudy sky early Tuesday with again some mid to upper 50s. Another shot at a few thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. A little cooler too. Today we're closer to 80. Tomorrow it's low to mid 70s. Things will gradually start to dry out a bit more. In fact, by Thursday, most of the storms that we're going to see, those will be pretty isolated in the afternoon. And then on Friday, it gets quite a bit warmer. So we're back in the 80s by Friday, and that's going to last through Saturday. It does look cooler, Jace, by Sunday, but this seven-day forecast, a little better than that long, oh, long string yeah. of 90s we had. <laughs> You're not kidding. We have a good drive going on, although it is going to be very wet and foggy in some spots. Look at the drive here at Lookout Mountain. You can almost see uh, I-70 down there. You can see the headlights for the folks that are driving, but the limited visibility could be a bit of a dangerous issue for you. Same thing south into Castle Rock, so be mindful of that. Heading out to DIA, this is I-70 out by 225, and you can also see maybe a little bit of the fog out here. I haven't heard of any significant flight delays, but there could be because of the weather here this morning at the airport. Take a look at the drive downtown and we do still have that restriction on the northbound side of Lincoln Street right at 2nd Avenue. Also some of the streets right off of here right by Sherman and 3rd and 4th. They're all still restricted for that police activity that happened earlier.